Each spring, we are greeted with spectacular colors of tulips in our gardens that have grown from bulbs planted right now in the fall. This spring, there is a very special tulip that will bloom to celebrate Canada's 150th birthday. Here to tell us more is Master Gardener Ingrid Jensen. Ingrid, welcome to the show. Hi, Denise. And tell us about this, this beautiful tulip that's going to be blooming. So this is the 150th, the Canada 150, which is the 150th uh, celebration tulip. It was developed in the Netherlands specifically for Canada's 150th birthday next year. And of course it's uh, available, it was available, and I think most of them are sold out now. It was available in stores. And so we're going to talk a bit about planting tulips. This is perfect tulip planting time. Yes. If you can still get a shovel in the ground, it's a good time to plant tulips. They love cool soil. And so this is basically your Canada 150 tulip bulb. The bulb looks like this. The rule of thumb for bulbs is that you want to plant them three times the depth of the bulb itself. Okay. But I'm going to say that because most people have problems with squirrels, the better way to do it is to dig a deeper hole. You can go as deep as a foot. Wow. And it can find its way up. And it will find its way up. It has good strong stems and the, the squirrels won't dig that deep. So that's one of the ways that you can prevent the squirrels from getting at your tulip bulbs. So dig a hole that's maybe two feet wide, a foot deep, because you want to plant a lot of tulips in one spot, not just a bulb here and there, because you want to create a really nice display. Right. Put in about 10 bulbs, put some soil over top, and then I'm going to give you a couple of other tips for preventing squirrels. The most obvious way is to actually cover them with something like chicken wire because the squirrels will not be able to get through here. And you can buy these little pieces of chicken wire for about a dollar at a local nursery. Um, I purchased, I got this at Vandermeer. So tell me about this for a moment. So you're placing it over top of the soil? So here, what you want to do is cover the tulips lightly, unroll your chicken wire, and then tuck the ends in around the sides of where the tulips are planted okay. so that they can't get in the sides either. They won't be able to get at it from the top. And they usually, if you plant them deep enough, they usually don't go that deep anyway, but that's just extra insurance. Or if you have a garden where you really can't go deep, because if you have clay heavy soil, you may not be able to, and tulips like good drainage. So that's something you can use. Good to know. Here's another little trick. This is hen fertilizer. Get your nose a little closer. I can to that. smell it already. It smells very fishy. <laughs> it's, it's pretty gross. So this is a hen fertilizer, and I know a number of people recommend using this because the squirrels can actually smell the bulbs when you plant them for about three weeks. So what you want to do is distract them from actually getting that. So if you put something strong like this down on top and then cover up the tulip bulbs, they won't be able to find them either. So is that as effective as this? Um, hopefully. The problem with this is over time the smell will dissipate. So you might want to sprinkle it again. So um, we're hoping that in three weeks time, which is by the time the smell of the tulip bulbs will also dissipate, that they will not be able to find Very it Very good to know. And so, now that you mix that around, it smells woo, uh, it is, just I know. Here. It's terrible. A <laughs> couple of other things you can do is to plant bulbs that squirrels don't like. They don't like narcissus or daffodil bulbs. So you can plant your tulip bulbs nice and deep and scatter some daffodil bulbs on top. And if the squirrels dig down, they'll get to the daffodils and they will stop because they don't like daffodils and they won't eat them. And we only have 30 <laughs> seconds left. Okay, so here's another interesting little bulb. This is called a fritillaria. Looks like this, very interesting. It and, it so interesting. Has, and it comes in wood chips. It comes in wood chips. A single That's bulb so like that and it has a very almost skunky type odor to it but it has a really spectacular yeah, oh, yes, yes, it, does. It, does. it has a really spectacular flower Thank as well. Thank you so much for being here, so. Ingrid. And that's the end of our show. Thank you to all of our special guests for stopping by and to you at home for watching. We'll see you next time. It's so fascinating. I thought I got to get, it does smell good.